Hi students, welcome to Communication 1250, which is an interpersonal communication class. This is a seven-week course that starts on um, this week, on Monday, and I would like to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Uli Putri, and I will be your instructor for this seven-week course. So I want to start by talking about what you need to know. And here I will talk about how the course is set up, the time commitment that you will need to uh, put into the course. I'm also going to talk about assignments, quizzes, papers, and discussion boards, as well as what to do in week one and how to contact me, um, who is the professor for this class. All right, let's start with the first one. Now, uh, when we talk about how the course is set up, this is a seven week course and it is a condensed version of the 15 week course covering the same materials in half the time. So students are expected to do the same amount of workload that you're putting it into 15, 15 weeks, but this time it gets condensed to seven week. So what happened is that each week students are expected to read the assigned two chapters from the textbook. You're also going to be completing the learning curve assigned to those chapters. And I'm going to explain more on this. Um, you're also going to be listening to or watch the recorded lectures and additional materials such as a TED talk or podcasts or reading a short articles and participate in the discussion boards. In addition to this weekly assignment and discussion boards, students will also need to submit papers, take quizzes and exams. So you will understand what I meant when I say commitment is key. Um, and so is enthusiasm and curiosity in approaching topics that we will cover in the next seven weeks. And in this course, uh, what is interpersonal communication? It is basically a course that will help you understand yourself better, understand uh, the people around you better, and also um, introducing you to tools that will help you become a better communication, sorry, a better communicator. So um, it's, for me, it is a very interesting course. And I hope that you will be able to uh, be, you know, um, uh, enthusiastic about the materials that we will cover for the next seven weeks. Now let's talk about the time commitment that you need to put in uh, for this course. I do want you to budget five to eight weeks, sorry, five to eight hours per week to finish reading the two chapters, to watch or listen to the recorded lectures that accompany the chapters, to watch or listen to the additional materials, podcasts, that talk, to complete the learning curve, to post on the discussion boards and provide feedback to your classmates, to take the quiz, draft a paper, prepare for an exam. Um, I'm going to talk more about this when I'm talking about assignments. So um, when it comes to discussion boards, because you're going to um, complete two chapters per week, and I know this is a, you know, it's a hard task, but you can do this. Uh, you will submit two uh, posts per week, one that's going to be due on Thursday and the other one that's going to be due on Sunday. So I do want you to know that there are always two deadlines per week on Thursdays and on Sundays. And both discussion posts are going to be worth 25 points per week. In addition to that, for the first week, I do want you to submit your syllabus quiz. Um, this is only 10 questions, five true or false, and five multiple choice. And by reading the syllabus carefully, you will be able to ace this syllabus quiz. Uh, you will have two attempts for the syllabus quiz, and I'll take the highest uh, attempt. So. If for the first time you only get five points and the second time you get 10 points, I will automatically just grab the 10 points. 
In addition to the syllabus quiz, you're also going to take two quizzes in this span of seven weeks. So these quizzes are created by me and each quiz is 15 points. And the first quiz are going to be before the midterm exam. And then the second quiz will be before the final exam. The exact same questions I ask on these quizzes you will see it again in the midterm and in the final exam. So what happened with this quiz is just to help you get ready and prepare for the exam. It's a very easy way for you to kind of know or have a glimpse of what the questions are going to look like in the exams. Yeah. And then you will also submit two critical response papers for each of the paper it's worth 50 points and these critical response papers are short papers it's only two to three pages long but i do want you to read the assignment guideline carefully so that you understand exactly what is expected in these short papers and then you also have two exams with 100 points each and these are non-cumulative which means that the materials that is going to be covered in the midterm exams it's not going to be covered in the final exams so because this is only seven week long you will see that um the first you know three weeks materials so chapter one chapter two three four five six are going to be the materials for the midterm exam and then chapter seven eight nine ten and twelve Will be the materials for the final exam yeah that way you do not have to um what is it worried to be worried about that will the final exam covering the first week until the last week no the final exam will cover the materials after the midterm exam and then you will have 11 learning curve for those of you who have taken public speaking for instance um you will be familiar with Achieve, which is the platform that is used to access your e-textbook. Um, and whenever I'm assigning you to read a chapter, you will also be assigned to complete the learning curve for that chapter. Learning curve is basically a way for you to understand the chapter better and for uh, me to test your understanding of that chapter. So, um, for you to be able to access the learning curve, you need to be to be able to access your e-textbook. And I will let you uh, see here that when you're taking a look at your platform, which is Achieve, you will see that you have the icon of My Courses and then Resource, Gradebook, eBook, Reports and People. By going to your homepage of that uh, Achieve uh, site, you will be able to access the uh, learning curve for the assigned chapter. So for the first week of the course, you're going to be assigned chapter learning curve for chapter one and chapter two, because you're going to be asked to read those two chapters. Yeah. Um, please be patient when you're like, how is it that I'm clicking on the, uh, what is it, on the web page and I cannot open or access Achieve, please make sure that you allow um, a pop-up or in other words, please make sure that you disable the pop-up blocker because for some, uh, what is it, a uh, web page, you may need to be able to do that first before you're able to access the, the Achieve platform. So, um i'm using macbook and sometimes safari um is having issue with it so i like to access it using a uh, google browser and that helps me a lot in making sure that i'm able to access the achieve web page so just make sure that when one one uh what is it surfer is not working for you that you try a different surfer and that usually help problem solve whatever it is that you're having um the next one that i would like to remind you of what to do in week one 
here are the list of things that you need to do for week one. I want you to read the syllabus and the course calendar carefully. I want you to take the syllabus quiz. I want you to submit your first post on the discussion board to introduce yourself. And this is due this Thursday by 11.59 p.m. I want you to access your e-textbook and read chapter one of your textbook. Um, and then complete the learning curve or LC for that chapter, which is due this Sunday by 11.59 p.m. I want you to also read chapter two and take the learning curve, which is also due this Sunday by 11.59 p.m. And then finally, I do want you to submit your second post on the discussion board to answer the lecture check questions on chapter one and chapter two. That assignment is going to be due this Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Yeah. Again, just to remind you, every week you have two due dates. One is on Thursday, the other one is on Sunday. So just be aware when you're looking at your course calendar, you're looking at your syllabus, you will find out what is um, due on Thursday and what is due on Sunday. I also posted post everything so that you'll get reminder on, you know, what's due for that week. And then finally, how can you contact me as your professor? Um, as I said, my name is Dr. Uli Putri. You can address me or call me as Dr. Putri or Professor Putri. I'm here to help you succeed in this course. Um, I will provide all the tools for you to be successful, but because you sign up for this seven week course, I do want you to know that you do need to bring your A game. It does require focus, lots of hard work and commitment on your part to complete everything in seven weeks. Yeah. Again, um, just because this is seven week doesn't mean that you have less readings or less tasks. It's actually the exact same amount of work that you need to put in into your 15 work course only in such a short condensed weeks. Now, my email address is uli.putri at frontrange.edu. It's written there, but it's a lot quicker to send me a message um, via your course uh, web page or D2L. Please give me 24 to 36 hours to respond to your message. And it's always helpful when you're being polite and being clear in what it is that you're asking me to do or what it is that you're asking for help. Do you need to see me in, you know, via Zoom? I'm available mostly on Fridays between 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. I do want you to reach out to me um, so that we can arrange this kind of Zoom session where I can actually talk to you in, in um, I want to say in person, but it's not, in real time um, via Zoom and help address any questions that you have. Um, basically, that's it. If you have any questions, any concern, don't hesitate to send me a message. And again, I do want to remind you that all the heavy lifting that you will need to do for this semester, seven weeks goes by very quickly. I'm here to help you. I wish you all the best for the, the next seven weeks. I wish you the best of luck as well. You can do this. Let's start by reading the syllabus, reading the course calendar, go post your discussion, um, what is it, introduction, and then uh, read chapter one and chapter two of your textbook. Bye. Good luck.